I hadn't made a video in a couple of days because I've just been running around like checking my head cut off. Shoot, I've been busier than a teenage boy with a handful of Viagra. Whew. Oh, and I ain't tired. I, and I ain't tired for the same reason, though. <laughs> anyway, been building this chicken coop. I'll show it to you in a minute. And uh, I thought something I could I could do a, a pretty quick video on. Well, I don't know how quick it'll be. We're going to find out. But I bought a couple of these little 63cc uh, portable generators from Harbor Freight last year at a tent sale. And they were marked down to $35 each. I ended up giving 20 for one of them and 30 for the other. So I give $50 for two generators. Well, the more I've been playing with these little old engines and stuff, the less I'm scared of them. And I figure, what the heck? At that price, $50 for two of them? Shoot, if I just need to spare part off one, it's worth that. So, uh... I'm going to get over here and I'm going to try to start one of these up. Now, you're, I'm, you're going to see me put gasoline in it for the first time. And it calls for 50 to 1. But my gas mix I've got mixed up is for my chainsaws and my, my earth auger and all that. And it's 25 to 1. So it's got more oil in it than it has to, but it should still run. Okay? I just want to make sure to run. And I've got a little old uh, four and a half inch grinder with a cutoff wheel. And I'm just going to plug it in there to prove that it's, you know, generate and provide electricity. All right. So let's get over here and see, see if what transpires. Okay, there they sit. So uh, let's, let's see what happens. There's a power switch here, I need to turn it on and push this over here to start. I'm guessing that's a choke. There's a fuel valve here. I'm going to turn it where it's up and down. I'm guessing that that's the right way to get fuel to it. Yeah, I believe so. Kind of hard for an old man to see. Yeah. Up and down like that is on. Okay. Now if I can get it to crank, and then I test it, then I'm going to shut my gas valve off and then just let it run dry. Then I don't have gas in my carburetor for storage. And that cube. All right, that'll be enough in there to get her to run. So they have 2.5 ounces of two cycle oil to every gallon of gas. Even says it on the gas cap, 50 to 1. And like I said, I'm running about 25 to 1. I'm giving it a moment for the fuel to run down into the, to the carburetor. I'm going to get this little electrical item here. I plan on using this four and a half inch grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut my tin. Let me show you my chicken coop while we're letting that gas run down in there good. This uh this old chicken coop right here was actually in front of the house, nestled in the edge of the woods. And uh, the old boy, by God, he either buried it, he either dug a trench and buried this, see that? Or he just, it just naturally, naturally filled in around it after a period of time. 
but uh, you can see how the metal was eat up. Anyway, I just took and got it free of the ground, parked my trailer on the side of it, and me and my son-in-law, we just tilted that thing right over on its side on the trailer, pulled it way back here, and then stood it right back up after I put some two-by-fours inside the corners to beef it up. All right, so let's, uh, let's see if I can get anything to happen here. It's been plenty long enough. All right, you're seeing it, you know, cold. I ain't got no idea. Got about three quarter choke. Let it get warmed up. When it started a second ago, I flipped it over to run, it died out. Alright, well, folks, that is the first time I've attempted to start it, and it fired off on the fourth pull. And then you saw it didn't take much to get started the second time. And I, was, and I was talking to another one of my viewers, and he says he uses double the oil in all his stuff. He said, by God, it may smoke a little bit, but it'll last. All right, I'm gonna go over there and slide the lever over to run, and I'm gonna plug in that grinder. because they don't have crankcase oil. They can turn that thing upside down, drain gas out of if I need to. But uh, there's one. I'm going to try the second one. Turn to choke. I got that gas lever on. Now, 
I had purchased one of these about three years ago before they used the Predator engine and little blue ones and I was trying to run a 700 watt electric water pump and uh, the little generator was rated 700 watt and then so much peak watts but anyway burnt the little feller up it just would not push something that said it was rated 700 it wouldn't it wouldn't handle the maximum it said it's supposed to on normal operating normal operating power but anyway uh, these are says 800 running watts I'd feel comfortable at 600 as far as a load all right never been started before I've got the switch on I've got it on choke I turn the gas lever on here we go one two three see how easy it is to restart I'm gonna I'm going to turn the kill switch off I'm gonna turn it off turn it back on and see if she'll fire right back up What I like about these is they're not very heavy and you can carry it anywhere you want to go and it'd be great for camping, run lights and stuff like that. I, I might run a coffee pot, but I wouldn't run, I, I really w wouldn't want to. W wouldn't really want to run anything that creates heat because it pulls so many watts. But uh, well, if you look at your little coffee pot, see how many watts it pulls. These are rated for 800. You can find a little coffee pot to the full 600 or less, then I wouldn't be afraid to use it. But uh, there you go. I've turned the, I've turned the uh, fuel shut off off, as you can see right there. Just let it run out of fuel. That right there is your choke run lever to the left to be run I'm sorry to the left is choke that's the run position that's your own off switch kill the engine there's a reset button if you was to overload your little uh, generator and there's the one and only receptacle you can plug into remember it's only an 800 watt you, you don't you know you know that's eight 100 watt light bulbs that's all or a shitload of leds <laughs> anyway i've got my 4000 watt you've seen me test it but i've got my 4000 i'm going to use to power my little side grinder cut that 10 there a man named david i won't 
I won't say what his last name is, but David donated $25 to my uh, PayPal account and says, Papa, I'll use this money to make decals for people. Uh, so if you enter the contest, you know, uh, the doing it cheap contest for a t-shirt, if you just enter, you're going to get a decal, okay? And of course the winner, a male and a female, are each going to win a shirt. And uh, so far, I've only got one entry uh, from Tom about his uh, a kayak. He showed how to, doing it cheap, he showed how to put an inexpensive trolling motor on his kayak. It's slicker and snot on a doorknob, I'm telling you. Does neat work too. Very, very neat and clean looking. Uh, uh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to wear y'all out. But uh, thank you for everything you're doing. Hey, as of right now, we're within about 40, I think, or 45 more subscribers until uh, we hit uh, 4,500 for another Dadgum T-shirt drawing. Can you believe it? I think today makes six. Today makes 15 days. I think tomorrow will be 16 days since my last drawing. And that's how long it took to get 500 last time was 16 days. I'm just over overwhelmed. Anyway, I've got 72 hours to get this done out here because we're going to have cold weather moving in. It's supposed to be in the high 70s tomorrow and the next day. And then it's boom, 55 for a high. Well, I sure am enjoying this sunshine like an old bear just want to lay out here, you know. But I know I got to get up and get it, get it done. Got to get her done. Oh, Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye. I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like to 